It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. All that and more coming up next. Autumn has come to New England. No place like it on earth this time of year. We are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Today we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon God and Charles Davis back with you. And Charles, for years, a trip to Foxborough quite often led to a loss for opposing teams. But the Patriots have been, in essence, a 500 team since the departure of TB12 three years ago. And things have switched because they are a defense-led team and that's what's kept them in most games. Their key, can they get more explosive on offense and truly establish who their QB1 is? And meanwhile, for the Colts, it's been a pretty hard fall the last couple of years, from 11 wins in 2020 to just four a season ago. How do they get back on the right path? I think they've started back on the right path with the change in the coaching staff, but a lot of it, players already on the roster playing back to the levels we've seen before. The kicker, Chad Ryland, has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Colts offense set to go to work, and they're led by a guy who's bounced around a bit the last few years, hoping to find a home with Indianapolis, Gardner Minshew. Even though the Colts weren't quarterback to start the NFL draft, they wanted a veteran under center this season. They tapped Minshew as that guy. The mustache and the mullet are in the Circle City, and he is their starter. They run with the all-pro from a couple of years ago, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Minshew. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Here's Minshew. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up eventually dropped for a huge loss. Oh, 
Throwing on second and long. Minshew. His pass left side to Downs. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The result only four yards there on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Looking to throw it. Minshew. And that one too wide and incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. So that P.I. call will give him one more play. And it'll be an untimed play as well. Now the half will end after this one, unless there's another, there's another defensive one. penalty. Gay's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. If you missed the first half, there's not much to get you caught up on. Just the lone field goal accounting for the entirety of the scoring. A 3-0 game to this point, as both defenses have been strong so far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Just one field goal in a tightly played first half as we resume action here in quarter number three. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. New England trying to get to place on offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Meanwhile, Jones throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Finding room at midfield. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds.
They come up now on second and two. Here's Jones. Got him in open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they'll get him to the ground. And he has another first down at the Colts 38-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here's first down. Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Ah, oh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Jones. And that is incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. That is caught, and he's gonna get out of bounds with the first down, so that's gonna double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Listen, when they're at this point of the game, all options are on the table. Fourth down, they say, we've gotta go for it. And what a play they come up with. Big yardage there to keep the drive alive. Here we go, first and goal. To throw is Jones. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead. And also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win. But they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. 
probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfielder set so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Another try, second and ten now. Menchu. Pass complete to Alley Cox. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and 10. Here's Minshew. Finding Pittman. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. Here's second and a yard. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.